It's Nam Saturday, 2013. We're in one of the we're in the E Hall, D Hall. We're kind of in that noisy area where all the technology is happening. And I really wanted to show you Nectar at the end of the day here because they've got a whole set of controllers that are out of sight. And I wanted Justin to sort of give you a quick run through. Justin, tell us about them. Uh, so what we have here is the uh, Nectar Panorama P4 and the Nectar Panorama P1. We're, con we're using them to control Cubase, and uh, right now it's in instrument mode, controlling Rob Pappin's Predator instrument. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time trying to get uh, uh, like a, con uh, a workstation uh, 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 experience out of a, a MIDI controller. So uh, you have a, a mixer mode that allows you to control your levels, and uh, the motor fader follows the, uh, the selected track here. Uh, you can edit EQs, you can edit uh, um, uh, inserts uh, all directly from the control surface. We also have a unique uh, uh, transport mode that allows you to navigate uh, Cubase's uh, uh, sequencer directly from the controller. You can move the song playback position, all that good stuff. So basically you don't need a mouse when you're using this. You, exactly. can, control, you can control anything in Cubase, anything in Reason from the, either the keyboard or the, uh, the Panorama One. Absolutely, that was our goal, is to, 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 to get you away from using the mouse and uh, 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 you know, playing more. And this is a spe uh, special keyboard for you guys. This isn't a generic keyboard. You actually had this designed for this instrument, correct? Yeah, that's correct. This is a custom keyboard made by us. In fact, my boss spent a lot of time uh, with a lot of attention to detail to try to get this right. The keyboard does feel, it's, it's a really nice, unique feel to the keyboard. Not too springy, not really too heavy. The whole unit is actually very lightweight considering what it's got. And also, the pads are very comfy. The wheels feel very good. It's a very, all of the switches, these are have a lot of nice tension so you, you get some resistance. I mean, it's a really nice, elegant system. So basically, the P1 is the upper part of this, right? Without exactly. the pads, just the without control the surface. Pads, without the motorized fader and without the keys, that's right. And what? Remarkably priced, two ninety nine for the P one. Two ninety nine for the P one. Four ninety nine for the P four. Five ninety nine for the P six. Fantastic. Another really cool item that was announced this year are the uh, MX uh, series synthesizers from Yamaha. There's the MX forty nine key and the MX sixty one. What's really fabulous about it? It's it's the Motif XS engine inside, uh, but it's in a super light keyboard frame. So I mean it's. I mean, they talk about putting keyboards under your arm. This is like that. It weighs almost nothing. Plus, it's got DAW controls, and it operates as a USB uh, interface. And it's, it's got you know general MIDI and all that kind of stuff, but it comes with an editor. It sounds fantastic. It's really easy to program. So you have a 61-note version and a 49-note version. And Dynamite, for people on the go or doing production, or even in a small studio, it does a lot of stuff, and it's got a fantastic sound. A really interesting surprise is that Dubrek has uh, come back with a stylophone, but this stylophone is a three oscillator, one LFO synthesizer. That was down in Hall E, and uh, it has all the kind of things you'd imagine uh, in a monophonic synthesizer. It's got uh, modulation capability, it's got audio in so you can process things, it's got a high pass and a low pass filter, but it's in a sort of stylophone style case with the metal keyboard that you can play with either a stylus or with your finger. Uh, they're pricing that at a couple hundred dollars. Um, they're only available in the UK, but I think you can get them direct right now. Um, that was a really uh, interesting project to see, not only because it just goes back to the roots of synthesis, and it's uh, not toy-like, but it's got that, that innocence that's always fun to play with an instrument. So really lovely piece. It was nice to see that today. As you can hear, it's still going on. The party is going to be going on until late at night tonight, and then tomorrow, Sunday, hopefully people will sleep in so we can have some peace and quiet. But in the meantime, that's uh, Saturday for you. I'm Gino Robert, and we'll see you tomorrow.